Welcome to another Azure Everyday video. I'm Mike Davis. I'm the manager of consulting services here at Pragmatic Works. And today I want to talk to you about uh, Azure SQL DW, or Data Warehouse. Uh, Azure SQL DW is a data warehouse in the cloud. It is a solution where you can create a data warehouse uh, in the cloud. It's got a lot of advantages of, of having a traditional data warehouse on site. Uh, some of those things are, uh, there's a very high performance boost in having it in the cloud. There's uh, the ability to make it globally uh, available anywhere on, on the planet. And uh, it tends to be a lower cost solution uh, for a data warehouse, uh, especially with the scale and compute storage that's available out there. Uh, you're able to pause and resume your databases uh, within minutes there. And uh, they use a massive parallel processing uh, behind the scenes in the architecture. Uh, that's designed for the cloud. Uh, you can seamlessly create uh, your uh, your jobs and your hub uh, for analytics out there, uh, along with any kind of native connectivity with data integration and visualization services. So there's a lot built into Azure Data Warehouse that you that you can take advantage of. Um, this is using uh, you know, traditional BI skills though. So any of your traditional uh, SQL and BI skills that you've had in the past for creating dimensions and facts all still play into this. You can still use those skills uh, when you're building things inside of Azure. It's just gonna be in the cloud now and you're gonna be able to take advantage of all of that power that they have. Uh, they have a offer of, or a guarantee of 99.9% .9 availability. Uh, there's regulatory compliance built in, so you don't have to do any of that yourself on site, where usually you would have to have uh, DBAs or people to take care of that. This is all taken care of for you in the cloud in Azure uh, when you take advantage of Azure DB. I'm sorry, DW. <laughs> um, there is also some built-in advanced security. They have uh, things like uh, connection security, authentication, authorization, and encryption. So there's a lot built in there for, for security. Uh, there's some data sovereignty, uh, and it goes across more than 30 regions uh, across the world. And uh, the SQL Data Warehouse adapts to your workload. So uh, if you've got a, a large workload, great. You can take advantage of, of the, the power there. If you've got a smaller workload, uh, you can scale it down. So you can uh, control some of your costs there. Uh, the ability also to pause and, and stop services when you're not using them uh, also reduces the cost also. There's a intelligent caching uh, that's built in. Uh, it helps you accelerate access to your data and query performance. Um, there's, uh, there's also the ability to run up to 128 concurrent queries at one time. Uh, behind the scenes, like I mentioned before, it's using massive parallel processing or parallel processing. If you're familiar with uh, the old uh, SQL uh, PDW or APS system that they had, it was appliance. Uh, basically, that technology is now built in and they've made a lot of improvements to it uh, even since then. Uh, so there's an ability to run your data warehouse at a very uh, uh, increased performance and uh, more than what you, you could ever do uh, with an on-prem traditional SQL server. Uh, there's some uh, new hardware innovations that they've built in. Uh, there's also been some new software breakthroughs uh, and a lot of those details are on Microsoft's site. You can see some of those. But uh, with all of that technology, you get a very streamlined, a very quick service. And uh, you also have the ability, like I said before, to control the cost of that by uh, pausing services and turning things on and off. Uh, so if you've got a small data warehouse, uh, you, know, you can take advantage of these services still. So whether you're a large company or a small company, uh, but you, you want, need a place to run your data warehouse and you want uh, you know, improved performance, uh, this is a great way to take advantage of that. So check out uh, Microsoft's uh, Azure DW or Data Warehouse online. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you on another Azure Everyday video.